Hey everyone, uh, it's a great privilege to be with Pastor Jay Sweetman. Good to be here. All the way from C3 Los Angeles. Yes, sir. Right here in North Lakes. And we've just finished a great leadership session. Yep. Our team has gone to a whole nother level. It has been amazing. Uh, Pastor Jake, I hear yes. that you travel a lot, that even though you can check in two baggages, you just carry it on with you. Is that right? Yes. Yes, that is right. I have trust issues with the airlines. Okay. So. That's cool. Yeah. That makes two of us. I also hear that you love M&Ms over popcorn when you go watch the movies. Every time. 100%. I'm M&Ms all the way. Not peanut. Not peanut. Not crispy. Not pretzel. Milk. Not peanut butter. Milky. Just milk. Yes. Come I've on. I've never heard them referred to as milky. <laughs> milk. But just M&Ms in general. All right. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That that makes you a best friend right here, right now. Now, Amazing. Pastor Jake, at, at the session just before, you shared with our team about reinvesting miracles. Yep. Can you share with our online audience what, what does that mean? What does that look like? Yeah, yeah. So the idea of reinvesting miracles um, is that when we don't reinvest the miracles that we have, yeah. um, they won't be multiplied. We'll, yeah. we'll run out of miracles. Yeah. Um, and so one of the things I think is really crucial um, to uh, be committed to as a leader is, uh, number one, identifying the miracles that are around you. Uh, so the good things that are happening uh, in the church, whether that it's a particularly amazing Sunday yeah. or uh, maybe a, a particular team leader uh, just operated in, in uh, a higher level than normal or whatever wow. it was, just identifying that good thing wow. uh, and understanding that that by itself is uh, a small miracle. Yes. Um, but small miracles compounded uh, together over a long period of time yield big miracles. Yeah. So once you identify those miracles, you um, identify the behavior that led to the miracle. Wow. Uh, you pull out the seed from it. Wow. Uh, and then once you've identified that behavior, you replant the seed. Uh, you reinvest the miracle yes. more efficiently, uh, maybe on a bigger scale, whatever yeah. it is, yeah. so that those miracles multiply and you wow. keep seeing those good things happen. Wow. Yeah. One great thought that I, that I love that you shared was the working of miracles. Right. It's not the magic of miracles, right. but it's actually the working yeah. that leads to the miracles. And you sort of even open a lot of the team's view on what a miracle is. Right. A lot of times in the scripture, we look at a miracle as the, you know, and we believe in healing, we believe in God moving it from the supernatural, but a miracle yep. is also explosion at a kid's church, like just some right. sort of growth it's explosion. Yeah. You know, uh, someone taking the next step, water yeah. baptism. Yeah. So you just sort of go, that's, that's what a miracle is. Right. You define that. Yeah. And then what led to that point. Exactly. That's yeah. brilliant. That's that's brilliant. Now, uh, the other thought that really stood out to me personally uh, as a pastor and the have got pastors that watch these videos uh, is, is this concept of the kingdom of heaven is slow. Right. And that is such a confronting statement yeah. as someone like myself that says the kingdom of heaven is advancing the yep. violent taken by force right. let's go out there <laughs> let's go plant 200 churches and so talk to us a bit more because i think that's a great uh trigger process thought process yeah. for every leader that's watching yeah you know, on the kingdom of heaven is slow yeah well, i think it's just um number one that's actually a thought uh that i heard a hero of mine saying well wow. um but i think there's so much truth in that because um it is the accurate description of all of our experience Wow. And uh, social media would tell you otherwise yeah. that um, the kingdom of heaven is fast. Mm -hmm. But um, we all know that, that social media is the highlights yeah. and not the process. Wow. Um, and so the reality is that the kingdom of heaven moves slowly. Uh -huh. um, and Jesus compared it to slow happening things. Wow. Whether that be yes. Um, yes. Uh, a harvest growing in a field yes. or... Um, uh, leaven moving throughout the whole lump of, of dough. It's a yeah. slow yeah. process. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, it might not be the most inspiring sounding thing, but yeah. I think there's power when things uh, accurately describe our experience yeah. and that allows us to just kind of to take a breath yeah. and realize we're doing okay. Wow. We're, we're going well wow. and um, it's, this is not a race. So as long as we're being faithful. And, That's amazing. Um, Can you point out to one uh, moment in your life where you felt like now we've got to do this, but then you've had to pull back and go, actually, we need to wait. Yeah. And, and would that be one? Instead? Yeah, for sure. I would say um, some mistakes that I've made and mistakes I've seen other local church pastors make would be um, in prematurely starting new things. Uh -huh. wow. uh, particularly with today, uh, with the presence of multi site church yeah. um, or one church with multiple services yeah. going on. Yeah. 
pastors can feel that pressure to say yeah. they have more than they need yeah. or, or they have more than they should be having. Wow. So uh, yeah, we've got multiple services when really they, they probably would do better to have one or two services, wow. right? Wow. Um, and so I say that's a great temptation for pastors or, or leaders is to multiply too early yeah. um, before the need is really there wow. to multiply. Wow. Um, and I've faced that myself and there's been times when we've started new things prematurely and realize, oh, probably didn't have the right motivation for that. Wow. And then having the, the humility to go to dial that back. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How do you sort of digress here, but how do you communicate that because you've cast a vision? Yeah. How do you change that around? Yeah. What does that look like? What's the conversation? Yeah. Uh, you know, in probably 30 seconds on. Yeah. I think number one, having a culture where um, you are not perceived as an infallible human being. Wow. Um, That's brilliant. People want to follow um, yep. leaders who are transparent and vulnerable. Yeah. So I think those moments actually create for um, uh, growth in the trust between the pastor and the congregation wow. when you can admit. Wow. Um, hey, I don't think we made the right choice. Yep. So I think that's really uh, important. And that happens uh, smoothly yep. when you're beginning with that culture of, yep. I'm not infallible. Yep. I'm not some special man of God. Yep. I'm just well, a guy who's trying to serve Jesus. Wow. And love people. Wow. So I think that's important. Um, and then number two, I think, um, even if you get the sense that maybe you did something uh, prematurely, um, not being premature about Dialing back. Wow. But maybe, wow. you know, you're just testing the waters or yes. something. You gotta let something really breathe. Take its time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take, it, take its time. And yeah. so um, letting something kind of push through a season of clunkiness before yeah. you make that decision about yeah. should we keep doing it or should yeah. we not. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. The third thing that uh, stood out to me in your conversation with our team was uh, burnout and the symptoms of burnout and right. how people uh, sort of uh, define that as I need to quit, I need to up right. and go. But you were just saying these are these just your mind, your heart telling you something because God's doing something else. So right. you share that with us. Yeah, I guess I'd say a couple of things. Um, number one, I think I think that we're all meant to serve Jesus uh, very consistently, uh -huh. um, and I don't I don't see anywhere in the New Testament uh, about. Uh, taking a break from serving or anything wow. like that. Wow. Um, and that might be a bit of a confronting thing yeah. to say. Yeah. Um, and so just to clarify that, I don't mean that you shouldn't have rest. Yes. You absolutely have rest um, to recover. But if we rest properly, yeah. we don't put ourselves in situations where now we need some elongated break yeah. to uh, recover from yes. a lack of health. Yes. I would say that. Number two, I would say that if you're... Um, if you're serving the way God designed you to serve, wow. you're a lot less likely to get burnt out. Wow. So every one of us has been uniquely designed and created by God, uniquely gifted by God. Wow. And if I try to use uh, Pastor Alwyn's gifts to serve people, I'm gonna find that difficult. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's how we get burnt out, is when we try to make a difference the way somebody else is making a difference. That's right. That's but when right. I discover the way God made me to make a difference, wow. that's when I um, find fulfillment wow. through service. And I find, uh, in my own experience, and in our own local church context in Los Angeles, yeah. that leads to uh, significantly less burnout in people. Wow. Because they're, what they're doing actually fills them wow. with what they're doing. Wow, that's brilliant. That is so good. Hey. Um, in and out of Chick Fil A. Oh man, that is the best question I've ever been asked. Uh, it, it's it's easy. I mean, if anyone were to pick anything other than In and Out, you would be a crazy person. Come on, yeah, In and Out all the way. With onions. No. No. No onions. Okay. Yeah. Bubble gum or Tic Tac. Bubble gum. Apple or Android. Apple or what? Android. Oh, I was thinking fruit. <laughs> Apple. All the way. Of I used course. to work at Apple. Of course. And Chick Fil A. Are you serious? Chick Fil A was my first job. That was almost prophetic. Yeah, it was. Prophetic. Not a bit. Well, you never know what happens. Well, thank you so much for watching this leadership session. I hope you've had fun, and I hope you've been inspired as much as I have been, and we've had fun together. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. God bless you.